Hi everyone and welcome to Smashbox where we look at the latest in gaming and tech trends. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot on your iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro or Pro Max model. Now, some people have gotten confused because they're used to using the home button on the older iPhone models, but it's a really simple uh, change on the iPhone 12. You're simply going to use the power button on the right hand side, the big button, and on the left hand side you see you've got the silent on and off and then the volume up and down. All we need to do is tap the volume up and the power button at the same time. There we go. If you click, you can click on that little image and you'll enter the markup menu where you can do all kinds of things like drawing on the screenshot and things like that. I'm just going to hit done. It will automatically save that to your photos app if you don't click on it. It should sort of hang there for about five seconds then disappear. So if you do want to edit that screenshot after you've taken it, simply select your photos app and this is the one I just took and we can from here either delete it, favorite it in the middle, the little heart down the bottom. We can send it to someone via messenger, text message or email using this little icon here or we can hit the edit menu on the top right hand corner. On this edit menu, there are some really handy things that I use quite often like the crop feature, which is this icon right here. We can change the size of the image or crop things uh, in and out. You can also have your filters, which is the middle icon. These are like your classic Instagram filters if you're editing a photo. And then on the first menu, we do have an auto. Uh, this will do automatic color balance and things like that. Um, I'm not going to go too far into these editing features in this video, but it just shows you from this edit screen. You can also click on the three dots on the top right hand corner, and then you can enter that markup screen that we had before. We can draw on the screen. We can change the color, all sorts of things like that. We can even use this one here to erase so that the markup is uh, you can do a lot of things with the markup screen. But if I want to go back to where we were before, I'm just going to click done from here. If I want to save any changes that I've made to my screenshot, you can either cancel to just go back to the original screenshot or hit done and that will just save it straight to your photos app. So there you go. Very easy, very simple. I hope you uh, found this video useful. If you did, do subscribe to the channel for our future content. Drop a like. It always helps us out. We'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.